Greetings, friends. Welcome to Trenton 365 Midweek. I am Jacques Howard. You can find out more about the work that I'm doing by following the at Trenton 365 and 365 are the numbers, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Trenton 365. If you'd like to send an email, you can do so by sending it to Trenton, the numbers 365, the word show at gmail.com, Trenton 365 show at gmail.com. And to make it even easier, you can go to the website, Trenton365.com, and there you can connect with me from there. Um, we're going to be doing some interesting segments here. We're going to be touching shortly and briefly on some of the uh, different pages and sites that you can go to to find out more in depth about what I'm involved in, but also the partners and the people that I'm working with and the work that they're doing and a way for you to connect with them. To get started, um, we're going to get going with the Library Boxes of Trenton. So briefly, Library Boxes of Trenton received a proclamation from the city of Trenton, led by Councilwoman Verlina Reynolds Jackson. Uh, several years ago, and I'm not sure the exact date, um, several years ago when the city of Trenton libraries were uh, closed, um, there was no physical library locations for residents or students and or students to go to, especially if they were not in school at the time. So that being said, I didn't know what to do. So um, I came up with this idea of creating library boxes. Now, originally I wanted to go through a national organization, thought it would be a great story to have them showcased here in the city of Trenton, New Jersey, where I believe uh, the country was founded and born. Take my tour of Trenton where George Washington became George Washington, uh, yet I digress. So I said, hey, you know, what, do I, what can, I, can, can I do? And I saw these, um, Throughout the city, the newspaper boxes, the old metal or plastic ones where you put some change in and you open it up and you take your newspaper out. So there were a bunch of those in downtown Trenton. So I put some ideas and thoughts out, spoke to Jonathan Gordon, um, who was working with the TDA at the time. And uh, he secured, I think it was 15, maybe 17 of those boxes that were abandoned. Um, throughout the downtown area, which was you know under the jurisdiction of the TDA. And um, so he, he secured those for me and got them off the streets. Many of them were in disrepair. Many of them were being used for uh, trash. Many were being used uh, for just like what uh, numerous different things, but it just was unsightly to have them on the streets. So the TDA via John, Commissioner John Gordon, which is a name we like to use for him affectionately, uh, he secured those for me. And I was very, very... Uh, very much involved, as I still am, uh, in the arts community. And Sage Coalition, um, Champs, uh, Trenton Social, uh, Bike Polo, um, Artworks, all these different um, agencies and organizations and businesses were just had this kind of um, salad of sorts that was just bursting with energy and so forth. So I came up with this idea of how can I get the local artists whose work um, I know, um, many who I think all of their work, I think I may have in my collection, in some our collection in some capacity, but um, to pay them um, what we could to paint and design these boxes. And the model would be an adoption model. So that adoption model would be someone would say, hey, look, I want this box at this particular location. I will monitor it. I will make sure it's clean. I will make sure that there's litter, reading materials in there, et cetera. And then that you would share on social media about this to encourage more people to uh, read, um, to tell stories that, that happened over, uh, the, um, over the box, et cetera. Now, we still have several of the boxes around, but... Um, there are some, some tragedies that have taken place with the boxes, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So the idea behind the Library Boxes of Trenton was to partner with a national organization and say, hey, look, come to Trenton, let's put your um, uh, little libraries, I think little book libraries or something like that is, is what the agency was called, and to put them all over the city and then tell this story through my radio and television access, WIMG 1300 and WPHY. I started doing some research and found out that those boxes are expensive. Like, I mean, like you had to buy a kit from them. Um, and it, it just seemed to be, to me, to be a, a bit much. So that along with having this donation of um, 
of uh, for upcycling opportunity, repurposing opportunity from the TDA to City of Trenton with these newspaper boxes. Right. Connected with the artists to have them painted, and then I was able to get some funding from uh, Bart uh, Bart's Books or Prometheus Publishing, Bart Bart Jackson, um, who's an author, and um, so we got some funding together, and we were to be able, we were able to pay the artists to design those boxes, and then um, again they were adopted and they were taken um, to different locations throughout the city. And uh, many of them are still in, in operation. Um, I do say that we have lost several um, due to a couple of, of reasons. One, um, we've had at least two that were removed um, for scrap metal. Uh, one of those I actually, uh, yeah, they were removed for scrap metal. Uh, one was involved in a car accident um, and damaged that one. Um, some of the plastic ones um, are still out and about. Um, they are in various um, needs of upgrade um, to painting. Um, some of those locations include um, Franklin Park's Northeast Block Association, which is located on Varun Street and Franklin Street. Um, that's on the on the corner. Uh, that was originally painted by um, Zoe Perron, and then it was originally at Champs, and then when Champs was closing, it then went to Franklin Park to replace the one at Franklin Park that was stolen. It was metal for scrap. This was repainted by Amon's Brindled and is probably in need of repair now. Um, there's one that has been uh, is is was by Antoinette Marchfelder, which is on location at Mercer Street Friends, and I believe that's on Stuyvesant Avenue. Um, the Mill Hill neighborhood has one uh, not far from the Mercer Street um, uh, Mercer Street Friends office Judy Winkler it's out front of her house uh, also on you know, getting a call to work uh, also that on um, Clinton Caitlin Fair um, who's involved with the East Trenton Collaborative um, she is she has a, a box there and uh, a few of the others, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but the idea is that we will then be able to get more, um, be able to source more funding um, so that artists can get paid for this, et cetera. Um, so we'll see how that all shakes out. But the Facebook page is Library Boxes of Trenton. On that page, you'll see not only things about the library boxes, but that's also a location where we showcase authors. A lot of those authors are local authors, and we encourage folks to uh, reach out to them um, to build a library of local artists who are authors and to support them and then to see where that goes. In addition to that, on that page, you will also see a lot of support for Classics, Books, and Gifts. Classics, Books, and Gifts, Eric Maywar and the family there were always very supportive of uh, literacy efforts. And when I presented partnering in some capacity with Library Boxes of Trent, they said, absolutely. So that is a location where we collect books um, that are then put into the boxes. And if you need to donate books, or if you are, if you are an author and you want to have a book event, Classics, Books, and Gifts is uh, the location that you can do that. Reach out to Eric Maywar. Um, shout out to him as well and his family for the work that they've been doing tirelessly um, here in the city of Trenton, encouraging uh, literacy efforts, et cetera. Um, in addition to that, Hub 13 is going to be a location for book events as well, such as meet the authors, breakout sessions, reading segments, et cetera. Um, we're looking to create a dynamic where literacy and reading are at the forefront of entertainment and encouraging people and especially young people to be more involved in the process of expanding their minds through reading through literacy and um, through all different writings of, of different types. It's cool to always read what you like and I like to do that, but it, I also find it enjoying to uh, go into reading something that I don't have a lot of interest in and then to see what I can extract from there mentally. So I wanna encourage folks to be able to do that more. And if you're an author, or excuse me, an artist and you wanna paint a library box, Hit me up. Um, again, you can do that on the Facebook page, Library Boxes of Trenton. 
And uh, once you, you know, send that information in, we can talk about, you know, what is your budget to, to pay in a box? Um, do we need to find someone who is able to adopt it and will take care of it? Um, and then let's tell that story. And when I say tell that story, let's really tell that story. Let's talk about you, your history, what brought you into the art and craft that you have. Um, how can we help you sell your work if that's what you want to do or how we can get some more eyes on you and uh, what you're doing. And then from there, keep doing that. We do it um, over and over and over again until, you know, we just don't do it anymore. And then we teach other people how to do it so that uh, we can constantly be leveling up. And that's what um, that's what the goal and the aim is. So Library Boxes of Trenton is the Facebook page. Uh, there's a website as well, but that will take you to the Trenton365.com website. So Library Boxes of Trenton on Facebook. There you can see many of the authors. You can uh, see some of the boxes, et cetera. You can go through the information and learn about the story, um, learn about the authors, or excuse me, the artists that were involved in that, um, et cetera. Now, before I finish up on this short 15 minute or so segment, again, the intention for this is to encourage you to get as much content as you can in a brief segment, and then to follow up with those agencies, those organizations, those peoples, go to those websites, et cetera, and then to start a relationship. And then from there, see where that goes, because that is how we're going to build a better community for everyone. So during this segment, we spoke specifically about Library Boxes of Trenton, which is a Facebook page. We spoke about Trenton365.com. Uh, Want to make sure that we give a big shout out to Classics Books and Gifts, which is located on Lafayette Street in downtown Trenton. Eric Maywar and the family there. And then also want to make sure that the Trenton Free Public Library on Academy Street, make sure that they get some shouts out as well. And uh, before we finish up, remember, friends, it's always about justice, peace, and humility.